So hello everyone. Welcome to this new session. So in this session, we are going to discuss with the two important uh, uh, concepts, okay? Which is two important small derivations, okay? So this comes under module three only, okay? So this is module three, not module four. So please make a slight correction here. So this is module three, okay? Okay, so now let's first discuss with the one simple law, okay? Which is very, very important also. That is called as biot severt's law, okay? This comes under the third module only, okay? So now uh, what is this biot severt's law and what are its conditions, okay? So now let's discuss them. So this is the typical diagram here. I have considered here one uh, reflected surface, okay? Along with that, this is one point, okay? Where the eye is, uh, the current is flowing through this uh, differential surface here, okay? And uh, this is the differential vector here. And, and this is the point P where the magnetic field intensity h is produced by differential element which is pro proportional to the product of magnitude here okay and this is the ar vector as the direction of this uh, proportional uh, proportional point this is the point uh, which is going through the point p okay this is going and reaching the destination that is point p and this is the angle generated by this differential element and this is the current flowing through the differential element okay so now let's see the derivation so now assume current I flowing in the differential vector length in the filament dl. So this is a uh, typical filament and this is the current flowing through this uh, filament. Okay. So now at any point P, the magnitude of the magnetic field intensity H produced by the differential element is proportional to the product of magnitude of differential length of sine of the angle lying between the filament and line connecting the filament to point P and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So this whole thing, this whole thing is, we can say that this is a statement of the biot severt's law, okay? That is, at any point B, the magnitude of the magnetic field intensity H produced by the differential current element, uh, differential element, uh, that is DL, is proportional to the product of magnitude of different length of sine of angle lying between them. So this is the theta and the uh, product of magnitude of different length which is occurring here, okay? And, and the angle lying between the filament and the connecting the filament to point P and inversely proportional to the square of the distance, okay? So, mathematically, it is represented like this. That is dH, that is change in uh, magnetic field intensity is directly proportional to the current flowing along with the product of the differential element length n of sine of the angle lying between them, that is sine theta, and it is inversely proportional, that is divided by the square of the distance that is magnitude of r square okay that is dh is equal to ideal sin theta divided by 4 pi r square okay that is dh is equal to ideal cross ar vector okay since uh, this is ideal sin theta the angle is sin theta so we can say that whenever the angle is sin theta we can say that the components i and dl are uh, the cross product okay we know that any cross product between any two elements is the the angle produced is always sin theta so that's why dh is equal to ideal cross ar vector divided by 4 pi r squared since we have considered the direction as ar vector okay this is the radial direction r right so that's why so we can say that this is the position vector or the direction vector so ideal cross ar vector divided by 4 pi r square okay so now take this uh, as equation one okay so now what we need to be considering is the total magnetic field intensity at any point is obtained by integrating equation 1, okay? So that is, we have got the value of dh, right? In order to take that d, that is the derivative, we need to be integrating it. So that's why we would, in order to get the value of h, that is the magnetic field intensity, okay? So that is the integration over a closed surface, okay? This is actually a line integral over a closed surface, i dl cross ar vector divided by 4 pi r squared. So this is the final expression which we are getting for uh, biot severt's law, okay? So again, uh, this was the small uh, simple derivation in order to get the expression for the biot severt's law, okay? So please go through the statement and derivation and very well. So we would be getting to one more simple concept right now. So this is the next concept that is curl h in rectangular coordinate system, okay? We need to be finding the expression of del cross h or curl of h, okay? We know that curl is represented by del cross h and divergence is represented by del dot h, okay? Yeah, we know that. So now curl of h in rectangular coordinate system, 
Okay, so now let's consider this typical three dimensional surface here. Okay, where I've attached one rectangular surface along with this uh, three dimensional surface. Okay, so I'm kind of naming the sides now that is HY. Okay, and these two sides are parallel and uh, to each other and they are moving in the same direction of uh, this, this direction and this direction, same direction. And these two sides, they are also parallel to each other and they are also moving in the same direction. Okay, so now this direction I've named it as HY, HY. Okay, HY, this is side 1 and HY plus dou by dou Z of HY delta Z, this is side 2 and this side is HZ plus dou by dou Y of HZ delta Y and this side is named as HZ, okay. So now let's see what this uh, would be, uh, what this expression we would be getting as. So now calculate curl H in X direction by taking integral of H around peripheral, around the peripheral of area delta Y delta Z in 4 incremental steps, okay. So now let H be along the side B which uh, B equal to HY and H along the side 4 and H along the side 4 B equal to HZ okay. Yeah. So here we are considering the side 1 equal to HY and side 4 equal to HZ. If the field is not uniform the values of H along side 2 and side 3 are given by whenever the field is not uniform okay. So here we can see that these two fields are not uniform to each other since the, the, they are not moving in a uniform direction. So in the values of H along side 2 and side 3 are, are given by HZ plus dou by dou Y of HZ delta Y and HY plus dou by dou Y of HY delta Z, okay. So now let's uh, go according to Ampere's law. Ampere's law we have uh, yet to discuss but uh, before that let's uh, see uh, this is a typical expression of Ampere's law that is line integral of H dot DL. This is the expression of Ampere's law line integral of H dot DL that is we have these four directions right. We would be moving in a clockwise direction only with the same direction but uh, we have uh, some of the directions which are opposite so that would be considering as negative okay along with that we would be multiplying the incremental terms that is delta y or delta z so whenever we have delta y we need to be multiplying it in the direction of uh, delta z okay so now let's first consider hy delta y okay this is the first side hy okay so that's why for H, hy this is in the y direction Right, so we need to be multiplying it by delta y. So hy into delta y plus the next uh, round is like this. We are moving like this in a clockwise way. So h, so again this is hz delta z plus hz delta z plus dou by dou y of uh, dou by dou y of uh, hz delta y and we, this is in the z direction. So that's why delta z we are multiplying minus hy delta y. Okay, since we are moving like this since we are moving like this so we are coming down here so that's why this term we will be considering so this term if we are going clockwise but this is in the opposite direction so this becomes negative minus hy delta y again minus uh, dou by dou z of uh, h uh, dou by dou z of uh, hy delta y delta z okay minus hz delta z that is uh, this direction again so when we are, whenever we are moving like this in this direction the direction is opposite so that's why this would be negative okay so that's why we can cancel hz delta z and the hy delta y terms and uh, write the remaining terms that is equal to the current density that is jx delta y delta z in x direction okay yeah so we have written this so here in this case delta y delta z is common take it outside so the remaining terms are dou by dou y of hz minus dou by dou z of hy delta y delta z is equal to jx delta y delta z. So here we can see that dividing by area delta y delta z we obtain the component of curl of h in x direction okay. That only we have got the component of curl of h that is jx delta y delta z in x direction okay. Yeah. So now we can cancel this delta y delta z terms right. So after cancelling what we would be getting is line integral of h dot dl divided by delta y delta z since we have cancelled it out so that's why we have written it delta y delta z is equal to curl of h in x direction that is also equal to this term which we are getting that is dou by dou y of hz minus dou by dou z of hy okay is equal to jx okay after cancellation only this term is remaining right jx so that's why so now further what we would be getting is the current has component showing in y and z direction but curl of h which we have obtained is in the x direction right okay but also this curl of h has components 
So this curl of h, we can see that what which expression we have got here, we can see that it contains the components of uh, y and z directions as well. That is h y and h z, right? So we can conclude that by deriving them in identical manner and add, adding them vectorially, we get this expression here. Okay, you can note this expression down. And mathematically, we can represent del cross h is equal to j. Okay, and we know that del cross h is given in this way. Okay, since we have got this expression here, we are writing it in the determinant form. That is in the first row, we need to be writing all the unit vectors ax, ay, az. Then all the derivative, partial derivatives, dou by dou x, dou by dou y, or dou by dou z, and all the components in all the directions, hx, hy, hz, all are the magnetic components, which is equal to the current density provided, okay, j. So we can conclude that curl h is uh, conveniently expressed in vector notation as cross product of the operator delta and h, okay. This is not delta, this is del, okay, meaning this is a uh, del, this is not delta. So the final expression which we are getting for a uh, curl of h that is del cross h is equal to this expression that is del cross h is equal to j in uh, in uh, general okay so this is the expression provided here so please uh, note down these expressions these are this is very very important many many problems are going to be solved using these expressions okay so that's all for this session please like share subscribe okay you can see our playlists as well in the channel it would be appearing on the right of your screen now so please uh, refer all the videos, we have uh, done all the videos related to control system, electromagnetic theory, also upcoming we are trying through the videos for microcontrollers and principles of communication system as well. So please be updated to this channel, spread this channel to a huge number, please like, share, subscribe, okay, and also comment down your precious opinions about uh, how we can improve our uh, video editings and uh, video presentation. So that's all, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you.